Welcome back friends. Our mammoth journey through Spain continues and this week we're hiking through some of the most beautiful scenery we've come across. It includes gorgeous hidden pools, treacherous hanging bridges and wild swimming. We're also heading to the incredibly cute city of Cuenca to check out its famous hanging houses and all round gorgeous architecture. We have finally left Valencia hey. <laughs> after like a week and a half. Um, so we have driven inland now guys. It's started to get really, really hot again. Mm. Um, but the drive inwards was absolutely beautiful, even if we did have a little bit of a tricky moment on the way to this park up, right? Yeah, our <laughs> Google Maps has started playing up. We don't know what's wrong with it. But basically, what happens, and this happens every single time we're going somewhere now, <laughs> we get within about 10 minutes of our intended destination, it just goes a little bit haywire and sends us up random tracks. So yesterday yeah. we went up a, a really narrow dirt track basically and um, ended up having to do like a 19 point turn <laughs> on someone's farmland which wasn't very fun because they were watching as well yeah um but we don't know why it's happening if anyone's got any ideas why our google maps has suddenly started doing that <laughs> please let us know in the comments or if it's happened to you when you've been using park for night or google maps then yeah let us know we'd like to know <laughs> We are in a place called Chulia and the reason that we have come here is to do the hike that we are currently on which is over some hanging bridges in a massive gorge. Now I had to convince Jay to do this, in fact I don't think he is actually fully convinced but we're doing it anyway but yeah it's a quite a hike so he's feeling a little bit nervous about it. Well, we are literally two minutes into this hike and I'm already convinced this scenery is just absolutely epic. The weather's really hot though, so I'm, a, I'm nervous about that now, you know? Uh, it's one thing after the other here. But yeah, the scenery is incredible. It's just a massive gorge and then down below, you can see into the valley. I think there's a river down there as well. And then as far as the eyes can see, there's like mountains and greenery. It's absolutely stunning. Interesting fact then, the river that we were on is the River Turia, which is the one that flows through the city centre, or sorry, it used to flow through the city centre of Valencia before they rerouted it, the one that flooded the city. Um, and we've just read a sign that said this place is where the flood actually started from. So when that happened, the, this whole area flooded as well and it took out the suspension bridges that were here and yeah caused this whole area to flood there was a flour mill that got destroyed and everything and yeah the water just continued down into the city of Valencia and destroyed that as well now for anyone that's wondering why exactly I wasn't too keen to go on this walk we're just about to go across it now I've just had my first sighting of it and it's as terrifying as I thought it would be <laughs> I on the other hand I'm really excited This thing is literally my worst nightmare. It is a wooden suspension bridge. It's 15 meters above the gorge. That's a huge drop. And it is creaky as hell. Sarah just walked across. It doesn't sound safe. Are you okay? My knees are genuinely <laughs> like knocking. My legs are shaking. That is terrible. <laughs> I didn't even realise this coming over, but that's really steep as well. Can you hear that creaking? <laughs> this is horrific. The water is so clear. Look how beautiful it is. It's just incredible. Thank you. 
We've reached the end of the walking trail that we were on and the uh, the path goes to a massive dam yeah and you can walk up to the top of the dam and i assume that there's a reservoir on the other side but we just couldn't be bothered because well it was quite a steep hill up so yeah. <laughs> we decided just to go back it's really hot <laughs> there is a round trip but it's 10 kilometers back and <laughs> the way that we came is two kilometers mm -hmm. so we're going to go back exactly the same way and i've just realized it means I'm going to have to walk over the bridges again. <laughs> right, this water is freezing, but I know it's a thing about swimming in cold water and some people seem to really, really enjoy it. I don't think I do, but I know you should keep trying things to, you know, see if you change your mind or like, you never know, I might just love it now. I'm going to try it. So how was it? I actually quite liked it. <laughs> this is your new hobby? Maybe. I mean, it's freezing, but it's also like boiling hot. So I think that makes a difference. You know, if it's a cold day mm -hmm. and then the water's cold, nah, not into that. But because it's super, super hot, yeah, it's nice. Just walking back over the second bridge. Check this out actual loose panels here. What's up with it? Look at that nail sticking out. That screw. That's about to fall apart. Yeah, but you're over the side there. It's only one little bit. This is the fourth time I've been over it. <laughs> well, I have to admit, that hike was sensational. <laughs> so yes. thank you very much for dragging me along with you. I did enjoy it very much. <laughs> um, it got really hot towards the end though, right? Yeah, really hot, really hot. Like, just on the climb back up it was just yeah it was tough <laughs> it wasn't very long i mean the walk back was probably only about half an hour yeah. because we didn't stop to take pictures and stuff like that but um yeah very hot very mm -hmm. exposed not much <laughs> shade so um we had a little bit of a cool down in the van and now we're going to go and head into the actual town itself because when we drove through it it looked really really pretty mm. So yesterday on the hike we were on, we saw a place called Charco Azul and it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna try and see if we can find it this morning. It says on Google Maps that it's 15 minutes walk away. Jay reckons not. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go. Well, I've got to say, I'm glad that that tree fell down before we got there. But <laughs> it's literally blocking the whole path. I know. Is there a way through? Um, well, I can see the path at the side, but it's going to be a bit tricky, especially the lady. Should we give it a go? Yep. <laughs> well, that was a no-go, so I was trying a different route this time. Can I just say, it's really stupid that I've got flip-flops on. The reason I put flip flops on is because I've got a blister on my foot and so I couldn't really wear my trainers but yeah it's really not the best idea. <laughs> it all didn't work so back to the original idea. <laughs> yeah let's try the tree again. Okay, this is getting ridiculous now. <laughs> Look at yeah. that. Are you planning on taking me on those boats? 
He didn't know it was like this. There's a perfectly nice path along the other side as well. <laughs> I've been looking at enviously as we've been going along this treacherous, crumbling <laughs> mess of a, a route. We should have gone further down into the valley to yeah, start with. I think we should, but there's no way that I'm getting on that. Well, no, it's, the thing is, I think people do still walk on it, but it's closed off, like you're not supposed to. We're definitely not going on it with her, so... Um, yeah, we're gonna have to go back. There. This route doesn't look much better to me. <laughs> Slightly less treacherous. You reckon? Half of those are submerged. <laughs> I mean, there's a wooden bank right there. Um, Do you want me to try first? Yeah, that'd be fun to watch. Okay. Well, Sarah's made it across, but obviously she doesn't have AD, so um, we're going to give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? Not too bad, right? It was pretty bad. It's quite hairy, but at least it wasn't high up because I would not have done that. <laughs> We made it! It was literally about 30 seconds away from the, the uh, wooden bridge that has collapsed and yeah. from those stepping stones. But uh, all worth it? Yeah, definitely. Well, I think so anyway. It's really, really pretty. Should we go a closer look? So that rickety wooden bridge uh -huh. that we you know, you tried to drag me across. <laughs> oh, I was never going on that, man. <laughs> <laughs> it goes the whole way around this lake or pond or whatever. Yeah, you can see it right up there. Yeah, and then it goes up into the ravine as well. I know. But it is just in an absolute mess. There's bits of it in the water, there's bits of it missing completely, it's yeah. all hanging off. I think this used to be the attraction around here, though, huh? Yeah, this is what I'd seen on, um, on some of the pictures originally when I was researching this area. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not in use now. Like, you're mad if you go on that. And another thing, you brought your swimming stuff, right? Yeah, I'm not going in there, man. <laughs> it looks amazing, but we just came across it a does. load of leeches. Yeah, like a ton. Like, they were just like literally sat on this rock, just like waiting to pounce on you. So, nah, I'm not interested in that. And also, like, it looks like a really nice colour, but it's quite opaque. So you can't like see what's in there. And I'm not into that. It's actually quite clear. Like, look, you can see my foot like, quite far down. I think it's just really, really deep. However, it is ice cold. Like, way way colder than that water yesterday really yeah it's absolutely freezing there is no way on earth i'll be going in here I really enjoyed that hike once Good. again. So thank you very much again for <laughs> dragging me out on another hike. Which one did you enjoy best? Uh, I think yesterday's. It was tougher uh -huh. and it was longer, uh -huh. but um, the scenery was just incredible. I mean, it was amazing today as well, but yeah, I think yesterday. What about you? Yeah, yesterday, but I loved the hanging bridges. So, you know, yeah. that's why. <laughs> we weren't actually planning on going on a hike this morning because we were just going to shoot straight off to the next location. Um, but I'm very glad that we did. Um, we've just arrived back at the van and we're going to get ready and head straight off, I think. just rolled up in Cuenca. The drive here was absolutely incredible. Scenery just coming out of everywhere. I know. Up and down as well, really mountainous. <laughs> yeah, some of those switchbacks. Yeah, a little bit hairy at times. <laughs> and um, we've rolled up into the park up and it's absolutely stunning. It's overlooking the town and you can see all the hanging buildings, which is what this place is famous for from, well, from our windows. <laughs> I'm really excited to stay here actually. It's quite late though, because it's been a, a really long day. So we're just going to go out and grab something to eat. And uh, I think that's the plan for the evening, really. Yeah, yeah. I think there's going to be a storm tonight. Oh, so, great. Um, we'll see how that goes. Ah! <laughs> it's a bit windy. <laughs> a little bit exposed. 
we had a really nice evening and it was a really really quiet park up as well yeah it I was, was quite surprised because it's kind of surrounded by restaurants and bars and stuff like that um, but yeah it's uh, very peaceful and today we're really excited to head out finally and explore Cuenca I've no idea what to expect no, it just looks really pretty from up here. Mm. So yeah, I think we just get into it and have a wonder. This building behind me just down here, it used to be a convent, but it's now something called a parador. And I think it's unique to Spain. Basically, they are luxury hotels that are run by the state. So by the tourism board, basically. And they have them around the country, typically in UNESCO World Heritage Places, which Cuenca is. And the proceeds of the hotel go towards the upkeep of like the, the the heritage sites they have one in Granada at the Alhambra for example so you can actually stay inside the Alhambra at the Parador there and yeah the proceeds of that go to the upkeep of the Alhambra it's pretty cool I can't remember exactly how many there are in Spain but there's definitely like well over a hundred just dotted around at all the different important um, historical places and people do it as an actual hobby so they like try to stay at all of them so they'll go to like a few a year for birthdays or anniversaries or whatever like i said they're luxury hotels so they do cost a little bit um but yeah that's quite a cool hobby i think yeah i think that'd be a great experience yeah wish that i could stay wish for this moment to never go away Cuenca is renowned as one of Spain's most beautiful cities, thanks to the ancient walled town which literally hangs over the edges of the cliffs it's built on. The cobbled streets are narrow and winding, and lots of them extremely steep. The tall buildings that line them are painted in various bright colours, and many feature wooden balconies. It's so picturesque that even the postcards don't do it justice. We've just stopped for lunch then and we are getting a menu del dia. Quite happy because it comes with half a litre of wine, so <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, and yeah, the first course has come and it looks delicious. All you can see, thinking about what your life came to be. You're a beautiful sight in the summer night. Why is it that everything around this area is all bridges and heights and stuff that I don't like? This is literally, again, my worst nightmare. My knees are knocking walking over this. It's really, I think it's higher than it actually looks as well. And the, the gate or fence on the side is just really flimsy and quite low. I could fall over this quite easily. Like the mothers of Brazil find their way We're all on our own But you're the most beautiful I've ever known You're a beautiful sight in the summer night it's been a really special couple of days here in Cuenca. We've absolutely loved it. And this park up has just been incredible, right? Like yeah. to have this view from the door, like, yeah, <coughs> just seriously amazing. Really, really, really recommend coming here if you come to Spain. Absolutely. Next stop is Madrid. We're heading back there to see family and we're staying at the same campsite that we did last time. We're pretty excited to get back there. So let's hit the road. Well, that's it for this week, friends. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit that thumbs up button down below and drop us a comment to let us know your thoughts on this week's episode. If you're new around here, then we'd love you to subscribe. And if you do, then please hit that little bell button whilst you're there so you get notified every time we post a new video. Catch you next time. <laughs>